probably be a good time to do a short summary of graphing. We've looked at position time graphs. We call them DT graphs, but it's really a position time graph. We looked at uh, velocity time graphs, and we looked at acceleration time graphs. And just to summarize, they're related to each other. I always put them in this hierarchy, the, the position time graph at the top, the VT graph, velocity time graph next, and the acceleration graph here. If you noticed, we could take information, we could take the position time graph, calculate slopes at different times, and get a bunch of velocity time information. You could use that information and plot a VT graph. So you could say that the slope of this graph will give us the information to draw this graph. Then we take the velocity time graph, we also took the slope of that. And we found the slope of the velocity time graph gives us, gives us the acceleration at every given time. So the slope of my VT graph will give me information, points, that I can plot and make an AT graph. So to go from a DT graph to a VT graph, or velocity time information, the slope of this gives me velocity. The slope of velocity time graph gives me acceleration. Going back up is not quite so easy. We did find that the area here, we did find that the area of the uh, acceleration time graph did give us velocity time information. But it didn't give us the velocity. It gave us the change in velocity. So I could say area equals change. That little triangle symbolizes change. I don't want you to think that the area of this tells you how fast it's going there. If the area of this is positive 6 meters per second, it means whatever velocity you had is increased forward by 6 meters per second. So this area helps you go up to here, but not, it's not perfect. We also found that the area of this graph, the area under a VT graph gave us position information or displacement information. It depends how we used it. I don't want you to think, though, that the area under this tells you the point on this graph. It doesn't. It just tells you how much the velocity, how much your position has increased, whether you move forward or backward and by how much. So this area gives you the change in this graph. Now, there's more complicated graphs than the ones we've done in this series, but that should basically cover almost everything you come in contact.